Hello, welcome, pause the video, try it out on your own, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, they say that there's this expression, and they want to know which choice it's equivalent to. And this is really a polynomial long division problem, because there's no common way or way to factor the numerator and denominator and cancel things out. We are literally going to divide this cubic trinomial, 4x cubed plus 5x plus 10, by 2x plus 3, and we're going to use what we know about long division to do that. So here, 2x plus 3, we call that our divisor, right? It's, our, it's the denominator of this fraction, and we're finding how many times it goes into 4x cubed plus 5x plus 10 evenly. Now to do this, we want to compare our leading terms. The leading terms don't necessarily need to be the terms in the front of our polynomial expression, but they are the ones with the highest power. So this is 4x cubed, and this is 2x, right? Those terms have the highest powers. This has 3, and this has the power of 1. This is a constant term with no power. Why do I highlight that? Because really all we're trying to do is find out how many times does the leading term of this divisor, 2x, go into the leading term of our dividend, which is 4x cubed, right? 2x times what is 4x cubed? And if you have a hard time thinking about that, you can reverse it. You can solve that multiplication problem by dividing. In other words, if I want to know how many times 2x goes into 4x cubed, I can divide these two things and get 2x squared. And that's my answer, right? 2x times 2x squared is 4x cubed. So you can set this division up to help. Um, all right. That being said, let me just clear that off real quick. Before we start writing that in, notice how the first term has a cubed, that the second term has the first power, right? We're really missing the second power, and that, and that is an issue, right? So what I would suggest, actually, let me just erase that. What I would suggest is to put a placeholder in there. What I mean is, <coughs> excuse me, what I mean is if you have the third power and you want to put the second power in there, which you should, this is our placeholder, put a zero as the coefficient. And now everything will line up really nicely. If you're ever missing a term with a certain power, throw it in there with a coefficient of zero, whether it's in the dividend or even out here as the divisor. Throw in a placeholder with the appropriate exponent, and that will help everything line up in the process. So let's go back to our answer. We know so far that 2x goes into 4x cubed 2x squared times. Then Take 2x squared and multiply it by your divisor, right? 2x times 2x is 4x cubed. And then 2x squared times 3x, what's that? Well, that's 6x squared. And you can see we have our x squares, so everything line, lines up. And we multiply 2x squared by 2x plus 3 to find out if we've reached the full um, polynomial that we need to. Have we reached what uh, we need to get to? We haven't. We're almost there. We're getting closer. And we're going to subtract, though, to find out what's left over. 4x cubed minus itself is 0. And 0x zero squared minus 6x squared is negative 6x squared. And we repeat the process. But I'm going to bring down my 5x from up here, just like I do in long division. I'm going to bring that term down. And now I repeat the question. I say, how many times does 2x go into negative 6x squared? And you can always do the division on the side to figure it out. Right, what is 6x squared divided by 2x? And that's just negative 3, right? Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. And x squared over x to the first, you subtract those exponents, it's x to the first. So that means it's negative, oops, negative 3x to the first. And we want to find out, well, if we multiply this divisor by this thing, are we there yet? So repeat the process, but you only need to multiply the negative 3x by the divisor. So negative 3x times 2x is negative 3x, negative 6x squared, excuse me, right? And that's that got us our leading term, where we look at those leading terms. And then negative 3x times 3 is negative 9x. And we subtract to find out what's left over. What do we still have to reach? Negative 6x squared minus itself is 0, and 5x minus a minus, careful there, double negative, we're adding, we get 14x. And then we bring down this 10 right here. Okay, we're almost done. At this point, let me just give myself some more room. We ask how many times does 2x go into 14x? And again, we can divide on the side. 
if we want to see how that works, 14x divided by 2x, that's just 7, right? The x's cancel out, and 14 divided by 2 is 7. So I put a plus 7 here. And the question is, is the product of these two things, does it equal 4x cubed plus 5x plus 10? To figure it out, multiply 7 by that divisor. So 7 times 2x is 14x, and 7 times 3 is 21, and we are subtracting these two things. 14 minus 14 is 0, 10 minus 21 is negative 11, and that's our remainder. We stop here because this constant has a lower degree than the leading term here. So we stop when that happens, when, the, when you either reach a constant or you reach, let's say, if this was x to the third and we had negative 11x squared, that 2 is less than the 3, so we'd stop, right? Uh, but here we have a constant term, so we stop. And that means, what is the answer? That means that if we divide these two things, we get a quotient of 2x squared minus 3x to the first plus 7 with a remainder of negative 11 out of our divisor 2x plus 3. All right, this is how we set up. So this is one common way to set up a long division answer. And that is choice two. Right, they wrote it slightly differently. Instead of writing plus or minus, they just wrote minus, but it's the same thing. All right, hope that helped.